morning. Welcome to my hair that has been in the same position for like, did I sleep with my hair in this position last night too? The night before? I don't know. Anyways, it is falling out today. We're gonna have to fix it at some point. But it is just after 10. I woke up initially at 6 because I really had to pee because I was just chugging water yesterday. And um, I was like, this is too early. And so I like, slept until like just just before 10 which is like my usual on days where I don't work which is terrible because on days where I do work I get up three hours earlier but it's fine anyways like I mentioned yesterday I have a huge list of things that I want to get done today including I mean it looks better today than it did yesterday but it's just a disaster over there but first I need to eat some food because I'm pretty peckish so I'm gonna get dressed because I'm still in my pajamas and then I am going to go downstairs and make myself something quick to eat and then start on functioning as a human today. <laughs> I look like I have no hair. Anyways, I'm getting ready to go out for my afternoon walk. So I got sunscreen on, got my hat on to protect myself from the sun, and I just grabbed my sunglasses. And oh my god, this is the second pair within like a week. In all fairness, both pairs were really old. But I'm sad because like these ones are like <laughs> perfect for walking. <sighs> Alas, I will have to go over here and pick a new pair. But look, like I'm getting low. I only have seven pairs. There's another one somewhere else, another somewhere else. So I have nine, but still, still. Alrighty, so I just got back home from my walk. I did five and a half K. I was not really intending to do that much <laughs> because I left and I went that way because I wasn't sure about construction the way I normally go and <laughs> then I was like everything sucks I hate this and so I was like I'll just do three because I'm already over 20k I'll hit my goal and I was like I'll just go a little bit further just go a little bit further and then that's where we're at and then <laughs> when I got home I went and I checked the mail no mail but as I was coming back my co-worker from Blind Channel who lives in the building next door was like huh and he came in and we chatted for a bit so that was nice but I am melting now, if you can't see, I'm glistening a little bit. It's a little bit sweat, but it's also, um, I'm gonna put on my after sun cream, just, you know, in case. I did put sunscreen on, but you never know. And also it'll help preserve my tan, so that's cool. Anyways, I need to change now because, whoa, <laughs> And um, I'm gonna have one of my breakfast drinks because that's got some protein and stuff in it. and. It'll give me some nutrients without actually having to scarf down something, which I'd normally try to do after I work out. But it's 3, it's 10 to 3, so I don't want to, like, eat right now because it's almost dinner. And I'm rambling. And then I have already made my bed and folded my clothes, which is exciting. And then hopefully I will put them away after I change and chill for a bit. And then um, we'll see from there. Oh, I should turn this off because it is so loud. And then we'll see from there. I'm trying to decide if I want to set up more hoops or just kind of finish the hoops I'm working on already for during D&D because like this one here um, won't take too much longer. I just have the not Eiffel Tower Eiffel Tower to do some gray behind her and then the green. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have like one, two, three, four D20, five D20 set up and a lighthouse set up as well. So like, I've got lots of options. I should probably just do that. Maybe if I'm ambitious, I'll organize that little shelf in there for all my embroidery stuff, but we shall see. For now, I'm gonna chug some water. I'm gonna drink this drink. I'm gonna change and chill. Well, hello. It's 5.23 now. That was really hard. This is, I feel like it's really close to my face. And, and I am getting ready for D&D because we start at 5.30. And so I guess I'm just going to work on D20s. I finished this and like, honestly, the fabric was so hard to get good tension on. It's done, but it's just gonna probably get folded up and go into a box. I might like put it in a frame or something at some point, but like the tension was so hard to get and I'm using the exact same fabric here because I wanted to see if it was a problem with the hoop or the fabric, but like I suspected it's a problem with the fabric. The tension's a little better in the smaller hoop, but it's just not satisfying. So now I know for sure that it's the fabric that's the problem. I, I'm honestly like not even sure if I'm gonna finish this. I might just do the outline and then not put flowers in it. That's 
where I'm feeling right now. But we will see. I'm just going to keep puttering on it. I have a massive headache. I've had a headache basically since I got home. And um, I don't know if it's from the heat or... Like, yeah, I'm a little red. It's from the heat or whatnot. I put on... I took out my contacts and I put on my glasses in hopes that that would make it better, but it has not. I've also had, like, all the lights off in hopes it would make it better. It did not. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but we're just going to keep trucking through, I guess, and hope for the best. And, yeah, so I'm just going to open up my notebook to whatever page. Like, honestly, I'll show you how, like productive I was being before quarantine like this was literally just me writing down Japanese words that I knew or like scribbling whatever being at home and embroidering I feel like I'm at least productive <laughs> anyways I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip to an open page I used to be a lot more organized and now I'm just nope just not even and I am good to go I got about five minutes before I need to join in the audio chat um, but people seem to be just messaging like crazy in the um, chat chat <laughs> my brain just completely stopped um, but yeah so anyways I'm gonna go I'm just I'm not feeling it I might even just not go for the whole night tonight because I'm just not feeling it. But that's where we're at. <laughs> Alrighty, well, it is now quarter to 11. D&D was over, like, I think 45-ish minutes ago. I, um, went downstairs and ate ice cream because I was feeling it. I still, I don't know if I mentioned I had a massive headache, but I still have a decent-sized headache. It's lovely. It's right here and down through my neck, but it's cool. It's good. We are fine. I did some embroidering, of course, while playing D&D, so I did this D20 on that same fabric that I did the um, end of the world thing on, and um, I hate that fabric is what I've decided, and then I started working on the details on Notre Dame, so I just have the upper level to do now, and then that'll be done, which will be nice, but I think I'm going to climb into bed now. I'm not feeling the greatest. I have to figure out what to do with all the clothes on my bed over there. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm kind of thinking I might just take everything off my ironing board that I have here because I was ironing things like this. Not this one, but the other ones like it. Um, to get rid of the heat erasable marks. Oh my god, my brain is not working well. So I think I might just take everything off of that and stack my clean clothes on top and deal with it tomorrow. That is the plan. It is supposed to be cooler tomorrow and overcast, which will be super awesome if that is in fact the case because it's just been too hot lately and I haven't been sleeping well as a result. So fingers crossed it actually is a little bit cooler. I think the high tomorrow is 21. Okay, that's still not that cool, but it's fine. It's supposed to be cloudy. It's not supposed to rain like it was going to. So we'll see. I'm not going to go out for a walk because I've already done like 26k this week. So tomorrow I'm just going to chill, maybe do another load of laundry, be an old lady, probably create my intro for June for the vlog because I keep pushing that off and I'm pretty sure Monday is the first. So mm. and um, yeah, so just go from there. <laughs> But before I can do that, I need to go to sleep, so I'm going to sleep now. So thank you for coming along on today's adventure. I don't even know what happened anymore. My brain hurts so much. And I will see you probably tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>